guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm amzad victoria yano the ceo of victor designs international so today i would like to teach us on how to make four different bags before i proceed if you're joining me for the first time don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't only subscribe kindly click on the notification bell so that you can be getting updates on our new videos thank you so the first bag is how to make a simple edge design bag with double face leather so we we don't you don't need to part this one okay this is it beautiful the second one is how to make a mini traveling bag souvenir okay this is it can you see it so it's for a day journey you can Okay. The third one is how to make a jute bag with a puff handle. Jute bag with a puff handle. Can you see it? Okay. Jute bag with a puff handle. You can take it to the market. Okay. For shopping. Okay. While the last one is how to make a classic men bag classic men bag that one also is a souvenir bag for you is actually unisex but it's for men the design is designed for men okay so we'll move to the materials needed for all the souvenir bag and the edge design thank you the materials needed in making your classic men's bag that's the for men classic men pause you can call it bag you can call it pause okay so you need your piping that is called you need it you need leather so i'm mixing two leathers together I'm mixing orange and black leather together so you need your leather you can use plain leather you can use the one with design you need thread you need zip clothes you need zip teeth you need your pencil you need scissors you need ruler you also need your pattern okay so now we move to the measurement. For the measurement, on your on your leather, okay, you measure. So this bag you can carry. You can carry to. You can put your Bible inside. You can put books. You can put your football kit also inside the bag okay this is you measure 19 inches 19 inches by 19 by 10 inches 19 inches by 10 inches so after measuring 19 inches by 10 inches the front will be seven inches while the back also will be seven inches so the bottom will be five inches that is seven plus seven fourteen plus five that is nineteen that's why we have nineteen inches okay so now to now get your where you fix your zip so to fix the zip you know this is ten inches right this is ten inches so three point five plus 3.5 the distance from here to here will be 3.5 inches 3.5 plus 3.5 that is 17 that is 7 7 plus 10 that is 17 inches so where we fix our zip we have 17 inches by 5 inches 17 inches by 5 inches okay you cut it out so when we want to sew it we divide it into two that's where we fix our zip close and for the down part for the down part you divide this into two because this is for 
this is for the two side so i measured that will be five inches by four inches this is eight so you divide it into two okay and to fix your cord you cut extra leather you can make the cord to be naked but this is a classic part so you need to cover the cord that's the piping so you can measure 1.5 inches to cover the cord this is what i'm saying this is how you cover it so why would why these are this is what i'm saying okay So you can measure 1.5 inches to cover the cord. So during the sewing, you see how to use the cord to attach the cord with the leather. Thank you. So now let's move to the sewing part. The next thing to do now is to move to the sewing. So the first thing you do, you sew your zip cloth on it, you top stitch it, okay, can you see what I'm doing? After top stitching, you, fix, you sew the side, okay, so, and then you make sure you fix the two zip teeth, okay, you can watch my video on how to make a scuba, that's the same way of sewing the zip cloth on this one also or how to make a laptop bag okay so you get how to sew the zip clothes on it and top stitch so the next thing to do is to look for the middle you look for the middle on the both side okay you also look for the middle after doing that for the handle you measure 13 by 3.5 inches 13 by 3.5 inches so you fold it and then you sew it on the both side okay that's for the and you can also use belt if you don't want to use leather you can use belt don't forget that you can use belt for the hand too okay can you see so that's how to do the sewing after sewing it so the next thing to do now is to So now you fix your belt, your handle on the zip flap. That's where you fix it. You just sew it on the both side. Can you see it? Just sew it on the both side before fixing your zip flap on the leather. So now you look for the middle of the leather. You look for the middle of the both side. Because that's where you sew your cord. You start sewing the cord from the middle to middle. That's how to fix the cord on it. 
so you put your pipe pin inside the leather and fold it with it after folding your pipe pin inside the leather your pipe inside the leather then you fold it on it and start sewing it from middle to middle I hope you can see what I'm doing. You sew it from middle to middle. So you sew the upper side and also the down part. While sewing it, you make sure that you don't sew it to the middle. You leave like 0 0.5 inches on the both side because we will fix a stopper on it we'll fix a stop on it so that's why you need to leave some space so you do the same thing on the boat on the other side after that this is the stopper you cut a small leather okay after cutting it you fix it on that can you see it you place the two edges of the cord on it okay you fold it and sew it straight i hope you can see what i'm doing so it will serve as a stopper that's how to pipe your you can pipe your lunch bag you can pipe your school bag you can pipe your laptop bag traveling bag you can pipe it this is how to pipe it and also put a stopper on it okay so you do the same thing on this side after that you now fix the zip flap on it okay so you look for the middle of the zip flap that is from where you sew the zip where the zip stop that's where you you will look for the middle not to the bottom you look for the middle of the bottom separately and on the leather you fold it into two you look for the middle of the down part the side and also the upper side i hope you can see what i'm doing so you fold the upper side, you fold it together, you look for the middle and the side also you look for the middle. Then you start your sewing from middle to middle. Can you see it? So after looking for the middle, you can see it. So you sew it round. So why sewing it down? You know, you look for the middle of the that the bottom separately, the bottom side separately. So your the bottom of your zip flap must be at the center of the leather also to get a accurate sewing so that the two sides would be old, it would be perfect okay i hope you can see what i'm doing okay so the bottom that is the bottom that is the bottom of the can you see where i notch so you make sure the bottom is at the center of the bottom of where you notch the middle of the leather also the middle to middle you make sure that is on the middle okay so you, you join it to the other side the same way that's how you do so this is the finishing so the next thing to do now is to pipe so the next thing to do now is to tape it round you will tape it round
spin it round you turn it out you turn the bag out so you set it you push out all the side and wow so this is the finishing of the bag start carrying your bag or you sell it thank you so much for watching don't forget to send your practical work.